guys! In this video, I'm introducing a new series I'd like to start doing on my channel where I do a type of draw with me and I design a new Pokemon. A Pokemon that you can actually see fit into the Pokemon world. I'll be doing this every week. Eventually, I'd love to see my viewers tagging along with me and using my same constraints and seeing the different variations that they can come up with as well. So, as you can see, I chose the animal, which is an alligator, and we're basically going with four elements that I've chosen for of what makes a Pokemon. And so you, you choose an animal or an item, an item being like, like Electrode is kind of like a Pokeball, you know? Or like anything that's not like animal-like is considered like an item. Anyway, so you choose animal or item, and then you choose its element, and then you choose the additional things, like additive things to make it, you know, spiffy. And then I, I added on the end of it like a cute or cool Pokemon. So I chose alligator, and I wanted to make it fairy and cute. Um, um, TLDR with this. Uh, <laughs> This ended up not being fairy. This ended ended up not, not being cute. Its first stage is cute, but then it like ends up being like a really cool Pokemon. You know how like all starters turn out really cute, and then then like their last stage are like, whoa, that's cool. Um, that's kind of how this one turned out. So I started off drawing him laying on his belly with a little spiral tail for like a fairy type s cuteness, but I I wanted to change it because it was just looked too basic, and so I wanted his um alligator like snaws and mouth to be like a prominent feature so i drew him standing up with his mouth open and i drew like this um plant um like this leafage um kind of wrapping him because i thought it was just like <laughs> blah, 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 blah. tongue tied Basically, I, I don't I didn't think anything. I just thought it would be like help me think so Okay, so how I go about Drawing stuff is you have to draw What you're thinking of even if it's a bad idea to get it out of your head. That's how I feel so um, Right now I'm drawing him like that because it just looks cute right now it just him wrapped up and with his jaw open It just looks cute. So I ended up rolling with this design and what I began to quickly figure out is that drawing each of its stages. This, this has three stages. So this is his first stage, and then you have to draw a second stage, and then his third stage. What I realized was that um, each stage that you draw has to like resemble the previous and will resemble its final stage somewhat. So you have to give like little underlying hints. So it's really what I'm trying to say is that you should s roughly sketch out each stage of the Pokemon because you're gonna go back and forth between all three of them figuring out like what elements you want to keep and what elements you want to stay um, with the Pokemon. So yeah it gets a little crazy and since this is my first time sort of like inventing my own Pokemon I you know I learned the hard way and like I said this ended up not being um, a fairy after all. I it just didn't feel right to keep it a fairy, so I kind of like went away from like my own like rule of thumb there. I ended up making him um, grass. I wrote like a plant there. So I was looking up these really cool plants and I wanted to combine an alligator and a plant. So this ends up being a, uh, I think it's grass water type. Grass is its first and water is its second. So here right now I'm taking it to liquefy it. Hopefully giving me a new idea to come up with. And the liquify tool is in Photoshop. It, Photoshop's the only one who has the liquify, so as you can see I'm making him a little pudgier, especially with the first stage. Um, just seeing, you know, playing around with the image, do morphing it, trying to give myself ideas of, of um, changing it around and making it look cooler. So I end up scrapping the flower design and also with this um, alligator, I didn't want to make him look like for alligator, like, or any of his like previous stages like Totodile and stuff, so I didn't want to make him too pudgy. The second evolution to Totodile, Crocona, he's uh, like really pudgy. So I wanted, I didn't want to make him too much like that. So right now you can see I'm trying to keep the open mouth um, between the two stages. I want that to be a prominent feature that people notice with when they see him. And so right here I don't like 
the flowers popping out of his head, so I'm trying to change that around, making it interesting. So I figured I couldn't keep messing around with the second stage. I had to move on to the third stage because I didn't know what I wanted, didn't know what I keep, wanted to keep. So in this third stage, I kind of have like, I want this alligator to be kind of like a carnivorous plant, you know? So I was trying to add the Venus flytrap to him, like put it like maybe the Venus flytrap, um, you know, he has an extra set of teeth or something coming off his head, but um, I couldn't quite grasp it. Maybe I could have if I tried a little harder, maybe it actually would have ended up turning out cooler. But I ended up adding that other carnivorous plant where it's kind of like a pod and it has like a little mouth open, kind of like Victory Bell. Um, I kind of, I want, I just added that kind of leafage onto it, kind of signifying, you know, that he resembles that carnivorous plant. So right now I'm just trying to, um, figure out the second stage to correctly make my third stage Pokemon. Now I'm looking back at my first stage and seeing that I gave him a long tail and I would like to continue to give him a long tail. I'm just not sure what I eventually want his tail to end up looking like. So that's why this second stage Pokemon is taking like so much time to mess with because I really want um, whatever I draw that second stage, I really want it to give me an idea to what I want the final stage to look like. So right here, the first stage and second stage are, you know, standing up with the mouth open. The third stage, I kind of want him to lay down, but still restrict his like arms like I have in the previous stages. But I, I don't want people to think that he only lays down. He can certainly stand up, but he just prefers to like lay down because he's so heavy. He's a, he's a big boy. So now I am creating basically just messing around, creating lines, just hopefully giving myself some type of idea um, to make him really cool. Obviously the big alligator mouth, the long snout and everything like that. Make that really prominent if he's going to be a big boy. So right now I'm looking between the second and the last stage. I really don't like the jag design. I just don't know what else I can add to him. So I start finessing his other elements. Hopefully they will give me a cue to eventually um, see what I want to do. And as you can see, I start wrapping his tail like I did in the second version of him right there because I really like the wrappings. I don't know why. I just like him to be wrapped in like this seaweed stuff. He's a seaweed wrap. He's like a little sushi or something. So um, I don't know what to do with like the little circle on top of him, um, on top of his head. I I have no clue what to make that yet. I end up <laughs> taking this design, uh, the third design, again I take it into Photoshop and I start liquefying it, helping me push my boundaries, make them you know, bigger in areas, smaller in others. Liquify really um, helped me in this in this situation. Now as you can see, I have liquefied him back and forth here to see the difference. I'm still not happy with his tail, but I'm gonna go ahead and line, sketch line like his whole body to make sure it feels right when I draw over it. And so far I'm liking his, his big old face and how he's wrapped and I added additional you know, that additional umph to him, which is the spikes on him. And now I'm messing with his tail because I <laughs> said I could not figure out what to do with his tail. And so I figured, wait, he's like, I think at this point I actually wanted to make him a grass poison type. That's why I added like the needles on him. I was like, I don't know, I should make him like a grass poison. Um, but when I finally figured out that I wanted to make him grass water, um, his tail became real obvious to me of what it should be. So now I'm going back and I am re-sketching the earlier stages, making sure that it will follow along with each of my designs. Making sure that the first stage makes sense to the second and then the third, that they're all cohesive. I actually really like how the second stage turned out. I really like his mouth. I like, you know, his body shape. If you were to see it in like a silhouette type, you would definitely be able to tell, you know, which Pokemon he is. I also went and added the little um, beginning little thorns popping out of his tail and a little leaflet to the end of his tail to signify, you know, his tail was going to grow into something else. So finally, I created a mermaid tail on the alligator. And when I drew that, I instantly knew, okay, he's going to be grass water. 
so I, I end up drawing like a spike in the middle of a sail right there. Um, Cause I was like, maybe he could be grass poison still. Maybe it could still be. But I just didn't like the way the needle was jutting out. It just didn't fit right with me because he already had little needles and then he was gonna have like this jet. It was too scorpion-like for me. And I was like, no, I just want him to be more of an alligator. So I scrapped that and then I was like, okay, he's just grass water type. So this is these are pretty much my um, definitive design right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and line them up. And as the very last bit to the last evolution, I added a berry on top of his head so he can easily lure prey. So now I'm choosing the colors, and colors are tough for any Pokemon, but I think like the yellow and green really sits well. It's like you don't really see like a yellow alligator, and I thought that was just a unique thing, a unique color to add. So I also wanted to black line all these. This goes against like how I draw naturally. I don't like to use black lines. The original Pokemon have black line stuff, so I, I wanted to keep it close, as close as I could to like the Pokemon designs. So now I made the final stage a different colored green and a different type of yellow because I wanted to, you know, um, because if you look at all the other Pokemon, their final and middle stage kind of differs from the beginning one sometimes, so the final stage always looks a little bit different. I think changing the final evolution to a desaturated green adds to his final evolution of him not being a young, healthy sprout. He's a healthy aged seaweed wrapped alligator. Who's that Pokemon? And here are their final results Mani, Grauma, and Makcha. Mani is the first in the evolution. He is two feet tall, weighing at around 82 pounds. He is the hungry Pokemon species. Always has his mouth open, crying for food. He will fall asleep with its mouth still open. The second evolution is Grawlma, five foot, two inches tall, weighing at around 230 pounds. He is the lure Pokemon species. Snaps at anything that gets close enough to its mouth, its petal on the back lets out a scent to lure prey. The final evolution is Makcha. Its length is 7 feet 5 inches, weighing at around 500 pounds. It is the lure Pokemon species. Grows a berry at the top of its petal to lure unsuspecting Pokemon into its mouth. The berry grows into a different type every time it is regrown. This Pokemon is Grass Water type. Its ability is Strong Jaw. Its hidden ability is Water Absorb. The catch rate from male to female is 65% for male, 35% female. Its egg groups is Dragon, Water 1, and Monster. I hope you guys enjoyed my Pokemon creations. I think for next week's video for my random Pokemon design, I'm going to actually put a random like random animals into a cup and random Pokemon element that way um, it can just be random it's more it'll be more fun that way and I will restrict myself to specifically making whatever I draw it has to be that I can't change it like I did this one anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time